told you not to pick a fight with me. And now you must pay. Come me Hi, Mom, I need you to pick me up. He's being mean to me. What is up, everybody? Today's video, real or fake anime, another installment. The theme, action adventure. For those of you who may be new to this video series, I don't wanna keep you in the dark. A little while ago, I told you all how much I enjoyed anime, and I decided to put my knowledge of anime to the test by asking all of you on Twitter to submit the plots of real anime using the hashtag TSRealAnime and plots that you just made up using the hashtag TSFakeAnime. And I had to determine which ones were real and which ones were fake. And let me tell you, you guys were very good at stumping me. But I think this time around I will be much better because action adventure anime is what I enjoy the most. I love them. Characters go on quests to get secret relics and save loved ones that exist out there and break magic spells. Yeah. I got this one down. I talk a big game, but we're gonna find out. And yes, once again, helping us out for this action-packed real or fake anime is a returning special guest, Dominic! Come on in, or spin on in here, buddy. Sorry, I wanted to show off the sleeves on yes. this shirt. Oh yeah, look at that special Yu-Gi-Oh shirt. It's fantastic. <laughs> Do you ever run out of anime merchandise to sport for these videos? Never. Never? Never. That's what I want for Christmas. <laughs> All I want for Christmas is anime. <laughs> Are you ready for this action-packed anime so ready for anime this video? action-packed anime video. Dude, and I'm excited what you guys will come up with. Also, for this video, I thought in order to help me better make sense of the plots that you guys submitted to me, I will be visualizing everything through the use of of a whiteboard, bring it out. Thank you, yeah, thank you so much for that, Dominic. Thank you, uh, you all know, Dominic, you know, I'm a fantastic artist. That is what I'm known for. Are you shaking your head? <laughs> I will be trying to draw out what you guys have submitted to me on Twitter in order to better determine whether that plot is real or fake. Keyword trying. I'm gonna try. You're gonna try. We're gonna see if this works. We'll see. This helps me. <laughs> Before we begin, I wanna once again give a quick shout out to Crunchyroll for making this video possible. Crunchyroll is home to unlimited anime, manga, and drama titles, all professionally subtitled, and new episodes are available one hour after airing in Japan via simulcast. So if you're interested in a trial of that service, you can sign up for 14 days ad-free using this URL, crunchyroll.com slash Sanders, or by clicking the link down in the description. <coughs> Ready. A boy discovered that he is part owl and has to travel through different dimensions by his magical wings to save other people like him. But as time goes on, he slowly starts turning fully into an owl and has to find a way to stop it before he's no longer human. Magical owl. A magical owl, okay. No, 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 wait, I'm off to a great start here. Thomas right. Picasso making his masterpiece. Oh, I'm so good. Okay, so we've got a boy. He's part owl. Is he? And yeah, those are his wings. That's I mean, probably the part of him that's an owl. And he's flying through a dimension that right now looks kind of like a window pane. But he is slowly, okay. Wait. Oh man, I am so good. He's probably not happy about it. This is him, <laughs> this is him more owl-like. I will say the one sketchy thing is that we did cover a magical owl in the last video and that one ended up being fake. But I'm gonna say this is real. Fake. Should have gone with the first instinct. <laughs> that was a good plot, though. Very detailed, very specific. I'd watch it. No, yeah, for sure. I want to see a character design for Owl Boy. Yeah, definitely. If anybody wants to draw Owl Boy, make it happen. Let's let's make that an anime. Tag me in it. <laughs> yes, perfect. A man with the uncontrollable ability to rewind time is forced to go back to his childhood to save his mother from a murder. Hold on. So this guy has the uncontrollable power to like go back in time, and yet he will use it, even though it's uncontrollable to save his mom. Yes. How does he control the time to go back? Is it that he wants to use this power to control time? Because he's forced. Like maybe he gets he's the ability forced? to rewind time, but he can't control it and he goes so far back that he's like where his mother got murdered. And he's basically like, I gotta stop it now. <laughs> Right? I guess I'll do this. I guess I'll do it. Like, why not? I like your uh, your mom hair. It's very, like, right? 1950s. <laughs> it's very, yeah, it's just very... She, she just came from the salon, which was very unfortunate. She spent a lot of money 
on that hair. This is him just going, why not? I'll save her. But if he's uncontrollably going back in time, I don't get the four. Uh, I'm gonna say that this is fake. It's real. What the heck? This is not working out for me. What is it? <laughs> well, go ahead and wipe everything off that whiteboard because it's called a race. <laughs> I thought that whole thing was the title of the anime. Oh. <laughs> It's called a race, Tom. Huh? Shoot. Well, I mean, I love anything that has to do with time travel. Sorry, I had to pick up my marker because I dropped it in a fit of rage. <laughs> well, I am not off to a great start. My theory of the whiteboard helping me has been horribly ineffective. You gotta uh, <laughs> believe in the heart of the art. I guess so. Okay. A girl gets a magical pen and is able to make any weapon of choice. She fights evil with friends who have similar abilities. The catch is that the fuel for her pen is blood. Her enemies aren't organic, so she has to kill innocent people to fight off the bad guys. What the heck? I don't even know. Okay, hold on. She's got this magic pen. She's got like this real cool. She's got crazy anime hair. Spiky anime hair. Kind of looks like Knuckles the Echidna. <laughs> And she teams up with other people because, yes, we need a whole cast of characters. As every good anime does. Absolutely. Are you kidding me? There's always, like, the one really big dude that's actually, like, just really quiet and, like, stoic. Big teddy bear. There's usually some sort of, like, flying animal that's like, hey, guys, come on over here this way. They have, like, horns for some reason. <laughs> This guy can just conduct like blue fireballs out of his hand. And then this is the guy who's like got a dark past and he won't tell anybody about it. She's got to kill the bad guys, right? She's got to kill innocent people. She has to kill innocent people? To get the blood, because the bad guys aren't organic. I guess they're like robots. That's not fair. I want to root for this team and she has to kill innocent people? No. Fake. It's fake. Yeah! <laughs> the drawing worked! Art of the art. Look at that. That's amazing. OC character artwork. Original character. <laughs> Finally came through for me. A young straight-A student boy saves a young wanted boy named Rat from the government. Later in the future, both boys find each other again and try to save people from wasp viruses while also falling in love with each other. Great. <laughs> There's a lot there. Okay, I'm gonna just do this in list form here, all right? So we've got, first of all, straight A student. And I put straight in quotation marks because of the later factoids we found out about him. <laughs> then we have wanted criminal, right? Ignore my handwriting. This is me trying to write left-handed on whiteboard. Classic Prince and the Popper story. Then later, they team up. They save people from wasp viruses. That's what it says. And then to top it all off, it's gay. There's a lot to unpack here. I don't know what happened right here between. It's so vague and, and all over the place. I want to say it's real. It's real. Yes! <laughs> Whiteboard strikes again. Yay! Number six. That's what it's called. Yeah. I need to see these. These are my kind of anime. That one was gay. A lot of catching up to do. I do. <laughs> you know I do. Whiteboard, you are really helping me out now. Now that I've gotten the hang of it. Woot woot in a boot? A young boy who can make the most annoying sound ever will attempt with seemingly no magic ability to become a wizard king. <laughs> To me, the most annoying sound would be like just a big old scream. Was that good? Yeah, I like that. Was That's that annoying to you? Very annoying. Great. That's important. So we've got that, and then he's attempting to be a wizard king. So I would think a wizard king, they'd almost have like a jester's hat, probably. All right, so we've got a boy who's trying to be a jester's. <laughs> he's trying to be a wizard king and he's got no magical abilities. That's a wand with like smoke coming out of it like pfft. All right <laughs> Looking at it here um, Here's me just even not knowing what this anime would be called. This might be my favorite drawing you've done so far Really? I want it on a shirt <laughs> I don't know if there's enough here for an anime. It doesn't look like it would be an anime to me So I'm gonna say fake. It's real. It is? It's real. Is this nothing like how the anime looks? <laughs> Okay, so what's the anime called? Black Clover. Oh, and you have no idea what it's about? I, except that it's about a, a young boy who can make the most annoying sound ever. I want to know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. <laughs> a calico colored cat is forced to go on a quest to find the golden anchovy that was stolen from the museum. Along the way, she will face tummy rubs and monsters, but worst of all, 
Red laser pointers. Did Talon create this prompt? <laughs> I love some cats. Okay, fine. I will draw this out. <laughs> Calico. Colored cat. And she faces tummy rubs. She's going to get the golden anchovy. Just imagine that that is gold. The laser pointers. It's not striking through the cat. It's just there in front of her. The monster is this big old, this guy walking up behind him. That guy. <laughs> His name's Fred. The monster, I would say clearly, in this expertly drawn drawing, completely throws off the rest of this delightful cat adventure that I would clearly want to watch. So I'm gonna go ahead and say conclusively that it is fake. Yep, fake. Thank you. Thank you! <laughs> I mean, it was a story about a cat facing a whole bunch of cuddly adventures. It could have been Bananya. Yeah. <laughs> it could have been that anime. Very good, whoever whoever made this. The monsters, though, threw you off. <laughs> Better luck next time. Better luck next time. <laughs> a main character who knows that she's a main character decides that she doesn't want to be a hero and spends her first year of high school trying to escape the incredible amount of triggers that might actually start any quest or adventure. Ooh, like a video game? Uh, could be. That's really interesting. This one, she's got a ponytail. Is that how you draw a ponytail? That's my ponytail. Let's just pretend it is a scrolling video game of a school, all right? She's at school and she's just like, you know, talk to mysterious owl and she's just like, no, man. But if this were the anime, what would happen then? If she's just saying no to every adventure, she knows that she's like the hero to the story and she just continuously says no. I don't know what story would actually be told. That would be a fascinating challenge, but I'm gonna say it's fake. It's fake. Is good. <laughs> Somebody should write that story though. Yeah. That's a really cool story. That The more I thought about it, I was like, it actually could like really be interesting where they could take that story. Cool. Yeah. I feel like it'd be really well funny. done. I want everybody to take any artwork that I've done so far and just make it so much better <laughs> than what I'm able to do. <laughs> a man from another planet is forced to fight the former prince when his peaceful life on Earth is threatened, when the prince and his royal guards come to find a powerful force. Okay, hold on. This sounds familiar, Dominic. Okay, so it's a man from another planet. What's happening with the blue? What's happening with my blue? So this other dude from another planet is coming here because of a powerful force, yes. but then finds the former prince here on Earth. But he's living a very peaceful life here. Do you know what this sounds like? This sounds like Dragon Ball. Is it Dragon, Dragon Ball? Dragon Ball! Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> did you see I just did the halo because of Goku? <laughs> I can't believe this is the fifth real or fake anime video and we have yet to do Dragon Ball for reals. Like actual yeah. as a prompt. Is this available on Crunchyroll? Yeah, Dragon Ball Super is. Dragon Ball Super yeah. is available on, on Crunchyroll. I think I said this in the very first video, but Dragon Ball was like one of the very first ones I ever watched. Yeah, same. Like, the drawings are actually really helpful now that Twitter's like 280 characters <laughs> because there's so much information that people are able to put into a prompt. Crazy politicians create a convoluted war between space and Earth in order to oversaturate humanity with violence and encourage that all weapons be abandoned so that humanity may move towards total pacifism. That is so much that somebody gleaned from a possible anime. <laughs> it's well written. It is well written. I don't even know how to write, I don't even know how to depict that. Hold on. This seems like this would be another listicle. So these politicians are saying, we create a war between Earth and space and have them war so much that it oversaturates our daily lives with violence that we get bored and we're like, you know, get it out of our system. Like, oh say, the purge. <laughs> the purge? <laughs> it's basically the purge but in space. When you put it like that. <laughs> I wanna say this is fake. It's real. That's real? Mobile suit Gundam wing. That's the plot to Gundam? Apparently. Gundam is basically the purge. Gundam <laughs> is the purge. <laughs> How do super villains eat? Two friends learn the truth when they are accepted into a food delivery service. Ever tried to deliver pizza to a hot tempered villain with a power gauntlet? They have. Can these two <laughs> friends survive their new job? <laughs> that was like the best promotion for an anime. Yeah, like a log line. Ever seen a super villain eat a pizza with a gauntlet? They have. <laughs> okay, so it is literally a food delivery service for super villains called, I don't know, let's say it's a pizza box and it's just called Evil Slice. Evil Slice Pizza. Evil Slice Pizza is the pizza, pizza. for you and me. <laughs> 
Okay, so they've got Evil Slice here. They're going to deliver this to evil villains. So this guy, who is clearly evil, as depicted by the evil looking scar on his cheek and the gruesome frown he's got and his fists are balled up and he's like, I'm gonna eat that pizza with all my evil might because I love olives and pineapple on a uh, pizza at the same time, I'm that evil. <laughs> First of all, we're gonna couple this with the idea that I don't see the anime sustaining itself this long with this just being the premise. And also, the way the tweet was formatted to look like like the promotion for an anime, like they were really trying to sell it. It just feels pretty fake, so I'm gonna say fake. It's fake. Okay, good. <laughs> I think I, I drew a pretty awesome villain, though, by the way. Bye, guy. A young girl teen, along with her scythe transforming partner, and her friends learn how to fight demons and witches at school and end up fighting against the very personification of madness. Also, Excalibur. <laughs> I have to draw this. <laughs> Let's break this one down, shall we? Okay, so we've got girl, friend who transforms into a scythe, other friends, at school, learning to battle demons, witches, and eventually fight off against the personification of madness, also Excalibur. So that's a lot. You know, there's so much happening here. I'm gonna just go ahead and say it's real. It's real. <laughs> Soul Eater. That's Soul Eater. Soul Eater. <laughs> I didn't even know. That's so funny. There was just so much going on in that one tweet. I was like, that has but to like, be. But like the way you drew it though, it looks kind of organized in a way. I tried my best. This was this is a very historic, accurate representation of Excalibur right here. I did my research. <laughs> I have to watch this anime now and see how close I was to uh, depicting the real thing. A blended family of four kids and two adults known as the Relic Family, adventure in ruins to find artifacts. However, sometimes an artifact isn't always an artifact. Sometimes they're haunted. Okay. <laughs> Let's just say one of the artifacts here is a haunted tombstone, and they're like, oh no, we need to get out of here. In my version, it's two dads, and like one of them's like really adventurous, and the other one's is just like, Kevin, can we, can we not be here right now? I really just wanted to teach. <laughs> and now you've got a cursed gravestone on our hands. Come on, Kevin. Dag nabbit. Kevin's having a great time. <laughs> I would watch it, but I also think I would probably say that this one's fake. It's fake. Yeah, cool. But what's cool <laughs> is that they actually drew a picture to go with it. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh my goodness, let's see the comparison right here. Okay, ready? This is mine, that's theirs. Clearly, my drawing is so much better. <laughs> no, honestly, that looks really good. Oh, they said four kids? Yeah. Oh yeah, see, like, how could you ever go adventuring with that many kids with you? Kevin, why did we bring all of our kids? <laughs> Teen boy cursed with the power of shadows Ooh. helps a cross-dressing half-mermaid from the clutches of pirates. Ooh, that's just great. What's a half-mermaid, though? A mermaid is already two things. So what's a half-mermaid? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say a half-mermaid is like only one of her legs is a fishtail. And puts on like maybe a trench coat. I don't know. I like, I like that trench coat is the default cross-dressing. <laughs> it's so nice. It's only society has assigned genders to different clothing items. Screw it all. He's definitely sailing on something. I mean, this sounds like a Peter Pan spinoff. Like, he's got the power of shadow. I don't know who that is. And pirates, Captain Hook. I like that the pirate has a boomerang. It's supposed to be a sword. <laughs> Because I have no idea what a half mermaid is, and I'm assuming somebody else does. This is a real anime. It's fake. It is fake. You messed me up, half mermaid. I should have known! What's a half mermaid? What does that mean? Okay. It's already two things! This person actually also drew a picture for this. It's really good. What? Wow. That's really good. <laughs> we were all on the same page with like, let's depict what animes we're describing. <laughs> this art's really good. Yeah. I'm loving it. A young boy gone and his friends enter the hunter exam to become hunters while Gon tries to find his dad, and they go on many adventures. Gon is the name of a person? The name. Oh, okay. I'm thinking like young boy Gon. He's gone. First season of Stranger Things. <laughs> Missing dad. Classic. Classic anime <laughs> element. He usually has a, a beard. Classic. That's him trying to find his dad. So here's the teacher. He's got a little mustache. And he's got a bow and arrow, because that is one of the ways 
you can hunt. And they're like, hey kids. Okay, so the friends are peacing out because they're gonna go do the hunter's exam. And he's like, I'm gonna go find my dad. That's the whole premise? That's what they gave you? That's what they gave me. Well, it's not like a half mermaid thing. So, um, this is a very classic trope in anime. Um, yeah, it's real. It's real. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Hunter x Hunter. Oh! Yeah. I've heard that name before. This, I've seen a little bit of it. It's on my, wish, oh. my, my list to actually watch. I was like, why does it, the Hunter, it sounds familiar. I'm pretty sure this is an accurate depiction of what Hunter x Hunter is. <laughs> an orphan boy with heritage considered royal makes a deal with a demon. Loyal service in return for his human soul. Wait, oh, okay. Hold on. All right. Well, I've got a nice little drawing. The demon has incredibly long arms. Uh, it's not Death Note. That wouldn't be a deal. There's a notebook involved. I would say that this could be very plausible, so I want to say it's real. It's real. Yes? Black Butler. Oh, I've heard of Black Butler. Yeah. That's what that's about? I didn't know that. <laughs> a young girl's absent father dies, and hmm. she inherits his space pirate ship. Ooh. She must now live a double life as a pirate captain and as a member of her school's space yacht club while balancing her schoolwork and job at a maid cafe. <laughs> That's so ambitious for one anime. Okay, so main girl's father dies, inherits a spaceship, becomes a space pirate while also being a part of the yacht club, balancing schoolwork and working in a maid cafe. Who would humanly, even in an anime, be able to balance this in their everyday life? I mean, honestly, that sounds almost as busy as an average high schooler's work day. <laughs> That's a lot. Um, I'm gonna say fake. Real. That's real? Bodacious space pirates. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. That seems pretty epic. <laughs> Thank you all so much. What a fantastic round. I can't believe we still keep running into anime we haven't actually covered yet. Yeah. Black Butler. Dragon Ball. Dragon Hunter Ball. Hunter. Yes. Freaking Gundam. Soul Captor. Gundam. Yeah. It's basically the purge. Yeah. Gundam's basically the purge. <laughs> and I'm glad there were some people that also drew that the so fake cool. anime. Yeah. And like, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed some of those drawings. Dominic, I did a pretty good job. I right? Think so, yeah. The, white, the whiteboard helped mostly. One I got the hang of it. I hope that you all enjoyed that and my drawing and writing didn't suck too much. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Once again, if you submitted any of those fake anime and those are parts of stories that you guys are currently writing, please continue doing so. Please keep drawing drawings for those stories. You guys are so clever! Awesome. Amazing! So, cool. so keep that up. That was fantastic. And if you were interested in any of the real anime we covered in this video, they are all available at Crunchyroll. So if you want to sign up, you can go to this URL, crunchyroll.com slash or click the link down in the description. My knowledge is just increasing of all this real anime. And your backlog of things to watch keeps growing. <laughs> it does. I'm excited though. Just before Christmas, we just need to take like a weekend, just binge. I'm just gonna binge. binge. Load up on snacks, make the blanket for it. Heck yes, Dominic. I like the way you think. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. If you were interested in any of my previous videos, you can click over here. If you're new to the channel and would like to subscribe, click down here. And if you're interested in becoming featured fander, click down here. That is it, and until next time, take it easy, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Peace out! <laughs> <laughs> I always like pause and you do it. It's my That's amazing. <laughs> Peace out! Yes!